welcome to the video and today we're going to talk about one of my favorites which is investing in wine so if that's something that interests you stay tuned and you will learn all about it as always, this is not financial advice, it's purely for entertainment purposes or whatever you might class this sort of thing as, if this is what you class as entertainment. Today we're talking about a company called Vint, V-I-N-T. As you might well have seen from some of my other videos and if you haven't, check them out. Don't forget to subscribe because 70% of you are not. They were which means that you probably should. As I said, from the rest of my videos, you will see that I like to find gems when it comes to investing or alternative investments as well. And that's where I found Vin. From my previous video, I was looking for my top tips for investing in different things. I went through, well, you'll have to check the video out really, but one of them was wine. And I previously found another company called Convi, again, link in description. But this time I found a company called Vint. And so I looked into what they offer and they are incredibly interesting when it comes to investing in wine. wine? I love wine. Red wine? I love red wine. Say now for the most part, when you want to invest in wine, historically you would have to do so with quite a lot of cash. And I mean like chunks, like tens of thousands. It's not a small thing to do. And you can still do that now through partners, but again, you have to lump up some serious cash. And we're talking the bottom lines in the tens of thousands, and most people just cannot do that. So Vint managed to make this more affordable to the everyday wine connoisseur, or people that just want to invest in something a little more stable. Why would you want to invest in wine? Well, that's quite simple really, especially at the moment when you've got the R word, on the cards, you want something a bit more stable or a bit more reliable. And this is where wine historically, being a tangible asset, hedges really well against the stock market. And it tends to, as Vint have recently actually proven, I'll put up on the screen, where they're producing about 20% returns on their investments right now, which is incredibly, incredibly good. This is why wine is such a great investment. But like I said, historically, it's more difficult to get into for the everyday folk. And that is why Vint make it so brilliant. But it is, it really is. You can sign up and invest in a collection from Vint for $100. So a $100 entry point is incredibly good. And what makes Vint so different from the others is that they specialize in wine and spirits. So that is all they will do. They don't work with any external partners when it comes to their investments. They do all these things themselves. So they're amassing their own specialist wine team and they're still a fairly new company, but at the same time, have had great successes so far. They've, out, they've sold every single collection in minutes that they've had. They put these collections together themselves, working with vineyards, and their aim is to become experts in this field. So for them, it's not just about holding for the longest period of time, they will look at a collection, you invest in that, and they will sell to maximize the profits for you as an investor. This means there is no fixed amount of time that it's fixed in that collection for, but if anything is sold as a part of that collection, so you can have a partially sold collection, etc., etc., that money is then paid back to investors. And the way that Vint makes their money is they take a fee up front. So their fee is an upfront fee on the collection. So when they sell the collection, they take the money at that point. When it comes to the profits from the investments, all of those go directly back to the investors. So that's you and I. Vint is an American company and you have to be American to be able to invest, which is a bit of a downside for me. On the flip side, there are ways that I can invest through things like Trivest which I will be going into in a separate video because I think it's quite a useful way to, for people outside of the US to be able to benefit from some of the things that only US market can take advantage of. So I'll be doing that in the future, but just from this right now, you have to be an American citizen to be able to use Vint. And if you are a US citizen and you can invest in Vint, you can also do it through things like your 401k and stuff like that. So you can add this as a part of that, which I think is a really nice way of getting the benefit of this way of investing through wine, through another means as well, bonus. And when I say they don't work with partners, they do work with partners when it comes to things like storing their wines. They have about 20% of their wine in the US where you have US wines and then the rest of it is spread out between Europe and the UK and that is because there's no point in moving the wine from where it is it's the 
best place to be able to buy and sell it. So they keep it closest to the places that they're gonna be liquidating it because there's no point in moving it around. It's simple. Just hired a master of wine to lead their wine team as well. So again, I think this is an absolutely fantastic time to be investing in wine, especially through someone like Vint. The first collection they opened up to sell was about a year ago now, just over a year ago, I think it was uh, March 2021. Just managed to sell a portion of that collection for 20% profits. So like I said, they're, they're managing based on their current trajectory around the 20% mark for returns, which per annum, which is absolutely incredible. Right now, they're focusing on growing as a company. They've already done over a million in sales through their collections, and that's just in the last year. They sell out their collections so fast, they're just trying to onboard more and more at this moment, hence the reason for growing their wine team so they can offer more collections to investors. Uh, but as soon as they go up, they sell out. This shows how popular this sort of investing is. And if you're interested in this sort of investing, if you have any questions about Vint themselves, drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you're interested in investing in wine, give the link in the description a click and you can sign up for Vint today and start to make some of those sweet, sweet, whiny profits. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.